Hey, yo, we locked in. It's due season. It's your boy, Carl Anthony, and uh, welcome to the Man Cave. This is uh, part two. Part two. If you watched part one, if you didn't, I will link that in the description. But how to stay on your purpose. How to stay on your purpose. Now, once you found your purpose, right, it's not going to just happen for you where you just, where everything just falls in line automatically. What's going to take place is you're going to find yourself going through, you know, different hills and valleys, right? Highs and lows along your journey in life, right? And sometimes you can get distracted from your purpose very easily by your own doing most of the time, right? Things like um, introducing a woman into your life that never that, had, that wasn't there first right she wasn't there already you don't have a wife you don't have a girlfriend um but you just all of, all of a sudden start dating someone right now i'm not saying that every single time that you you know decide to date someone it's going to be a problem in your life that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is that you have to be careful with giving your attention to someone while you're on a on a certain journey right if you're really on your path um, also, you can get distracted off your journey by being in solitude too much, right? Because a lot of times you can just, you know, you fall into, you know, idle time. You know, you start, you know, playing video games all the time, um, watching porn. You know, and you know what comes from watching porn. Uh, you start being on social media frequently, like way too frequently, right? Where you're not really getting anything accomplished. Um, you get to eating too much. You just fall off your purpose and you get sidetracked and then you end up going down the rabbit hole of just, you know, self-degrading, you know, activities. And it, it, it piles on a lot faster than the work you've put, put into your purpose. Because it's easier to just get down, get into bad habits. Bad habits are usually the ones that, that really rise our dopamine on a, in a whole nother level, you know. That's why people get addicted to drugs, you know, and, and, and alcohol. Because it's a different type of dopamine rush than just, you know, going to the gym, you know. Now, for some people, they've gotten to the point where the dopamine rush of going to the gym is something that they cannot part with, okay, which is a great thing. Um, but for a lot of people, it's not like that. So you, you must understand the type of person you are, um, your behavior patterns and what really is your triggers to go down a path of destruction. Okay. What are your triggers? What causes you to wander off the path? Right. And we all do it. I've done it. I'm sure you've done it. You know, your parents have done it. Whatever the case may be. You must understand that, uh, you know, your greatness is going to come from consistency. Okay? Like me building this channel. You know, I, I said last week I was going to do a video every day. And I didn't do it. Um, so, putting the work in consistently is what brings the results that you really want. Staying on your purpose comes from occupying your mind within your purpose, right? If you keep if you occupy your mind within your purpose, your purpose will come to fruition. Okay? You you will real you will realize your purpose, okay? Um you will fulfill your purpose. But the minute you you decide to, you know, take a um a uh, mental vacation <laughs> and decide to, you know, let your hair down a little bit. And, you know, I'm just going, man, I'm just, man, just today, man, I don't feel like doing that. You know, I don't feel like, I don't feel like reading that book or writing that book or I don't feel like lifting weights today. I don't feel like watching my diet today. I don't feel like working on my business today. I don't feel like, you know, this, that, that, or this. 
Now, the minute you start, you know, the minute you give yourself a little leeway to do something off your path, right? If you don't snap it right back into place immediately after, like, okay, today is Monday and I'm going to, you know, go off my path, right? If you don't get back on the path on Tuesday, it's going to be Tuesday you're off the path again. And then it's going to be harder to even say, I'm going to get off the path on Wednesday, right? I'm going to get back on the path on Wednesday. So Wednesday comes, and next thing you know, it's three weeks later, four weeks later, and you've gained weight, or you're still on the same page of that book you were writing, or you never filed your articles of incorporation for your business, uh, you never purchased your t-shirts to start your t-shirt line, you never got your designs approved. Um, it the behaviors just keep going, right? Like, like you got to understand. Like, it's it's so easy for bad habits to take over our lives um, because we're in a world full of distractions. We're in a world full of of you know scantily clad women, celebrity gossip. Um, um, sh- you know, video games, uh, just, you know, Netflix binges, um, all kind of things that can take you away from where you want to go. Right now it's there, but it, but what you don't realize is you have a choice. It is a choice. Anytime you fall into something that you shouldn't be doing, it's, it's really your choice. You got to put yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable to the things that you want to do. Hold yourself accountable to the success that you want to have. That is the only way you're going to stay on the path. That's the only way. The minute you decide to let your carnal desires, your foolish desires, your foolish wants, your foolish needs, your foolish needs, let you think is a need, um, when you let those foolish things take over your life, man, you know, it it can send you down the wrong path all the way. And, and you know, coming back from that is going to be tough. I'm just telling you. So if you if you can understand that and, and get past that right now, um, things will happen in your life a whole lot better, right? Um, and you just got to do what you got to do, man. Uh, so, look. Tips for staying on your path, man. Find somebody that can be your accountability partner, that can check up on you for the things that you, you know, that you want to do. They can, uh, like, you know, if, if, if losing weight or sculpting your body is one thing, having a personal trainer is one of the best things you can have because, look, you know, sometimes you got to spend some money to to get your goals to happen. So if you got a personal trainer, you see them two or three times a week. And they, they, they notice that, you know, you keep getting fatter <laughs> or you're losing gains. Like, that means after we do, you know, all of this work that I'm showing you, you know, like, you're not putting in the work. Get back on it, right? Um, find somebody that can, that you trust, right? That can hold you accountable to the, to the great things that you are trying to accomplish. Um, also, journal daily the things that you, you know, are accomplishing and that you want to do and have a checklist. If you have a checklist and you put some systems in place, these things will happen for you in the best way. Um, So you just got to, you just got to, you got to insulate yourself with the right, you know, with the right things for the path that you're trying to be on. And it's hard. I'm not saying it's easy. It's never going to be easy, right? And that's the thing. Real men can, 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 can power through the, the hard times and the hard moments because that's what makes you a man. That's what makes you great. So do what you got to do, man. If you got any questions, email me or send me a comment and I'll get back at you. Peace.